Alright guys, so we're here in Heidel, and uh, this is pretty much where that big fountain is that you have to do that, that goofy, like, uh, examine quest thing that gets really annoying. Well, pretty much right here is where you can buy the large fence. You want to go to this guy, his name's uh, Flav Flav Flavano, whatever you, uh, Flavano. Just say what's up. Talk to him, right? And when you go into his, uh, like, chat, you'll see, like, what what is your strong name? fence. Now, the strong, like, fence is the biggest fence you, they have right now, so you want to snag that. Right? It's 10 contribution points, but, like, for me, in my opinion, if you're doing this, there's two reasons you're doing this. So you're either doing this for, like, you want to get good at cooking and you want to, like, grow your own crops and stuff like that, or you want to, like, like, try and sell to make money. Or you're looking for hearts and sharps. So if you're looking for hearts and sharps, this is definitely the best way to go because you can plant a bunch of plants and then that way you can do that. Um, if you're looking for crops or whatever, I mean, I personally, I just think the biggest fence is the best way to go. Um, some of the other smaller fences won't let you grow certain crops, so like the best, the biggest one is the best is the best one to go with. Go, trust me on this one. I think, I think you can trust me on this one. What kind of person is? So we'll grab one of those, right? That's ten contribution points. Now, picking your farm, I have a sickness plant, that doesn't allow me to kind of important. Um, based off the crops you want, uh, personally, the overall, the, the, the general trouble. safe area for you to grow pretty much anything is here in Velia, which is where most of my crops are, which are all of them are. Um, if you want to do some other crazy stuff, you can always, like, play around with this and be a little, like, uh, you know, kind of, you could, you could play around with this because, like, you can go and grow stuff, like, out in the desert or something like that where it's really, really hard. Like, uh, this is where you could really get into, like, your farming and stuff like that. Um, you've got a bunch of choices. If you ever want to check it out, you can press Y in the map menu. And you can go over to some of the other, like, settings. Like, here you can find, like, you know, territory resources and, you know, like, ground water information. Like, this will come in, uh, in handy for, like, plants. Like, where is water? Like, how wet is, the, like, the actual shit? Temperature is important, too. Say you want to grow sunflowers. You want to, like, nice sunny dry area um you know you got humidity as well that's important that's going to change all of that all of that comes into play so like here you can check all that little stuff um that's kind of also cool to know all right so now that we got our fence we're going to go ahead and run back to uh to Velia, and i'll show you where we can lay all that stuff down and kind of get our farm up and going and plant some crops all right i'm going to just probably fast forward from this running stuff so Alright guys, so here we are back at the farm. Uh, as you can see, there's a couple fences already placed down, and I've got some other stuff here. There's an irrigation system, and this kind of helps with water. Um, you can have the, uh, like one of your workers make this for you. Um, you can find this in the, I believe it's like the uh, woodcraft section or something like that. Let me double check that. I don't want to lie to you guys. Yeah, the carpentry workshop. So uh, you can find both of these items, and they're pretty easy to make. Um, the scarecrow will keep like uh, birds from eating your crops. I don't really see a difference in using a scarecrow or not. And uh, water irrigation just keeps you from having to dump water in your uh, crops all the time. And it does get kind of, uh, especially when you have more than one, it does become a pain. So I, I would recommend using a water irrigation. Scarecrow is totally up to you. They both take up space in the actual, uh, you know, the actual fence. So, again, using these are totally up to you. Uh, I use them, but I don't really use a scarecrow as much. So, let's place this fence down that we just got. Alright, find us a nice clean spot. Uh, probably just bring it on over here somewhere, away from these rocks, hopefully. Um, I'm going to pick, like, a nice spot. Uh, just go into your inventory and scroll over to that fence. And it should let you just go ahead and place it. Um... I mean, I'm, I link them all together because it's just kind of in the same area. I'll throw this one down here. And you just tap A twice, and it'll go ahead and place. Alright. So, now you got your fence. You can go ahead and start planting crops right away. Um, what you want to do is you're going to hold the left trigger, and that's going to bring up like your actual menu. Once that pops up, it'll say switch to place mode. Go ahead and hold Y there. And that'll pull up place mode. Again, that's the left trigger and then holding Y. That's normally where most people get like kind of stuck here, and that's probably why you're watching this video. Um, other than that, you can tap Y and you can remove the fence. It'll just go right back into your inventory if you do that. But uh, let's go ahead and place, and you can just put whatever you want in here. I mean, the, like in the larger fences, you can pretty much put whatever you want, and it'll tell you when you can't place anything. Um, 
from my study, it hasn't really affected how you place your crops, really. Again, I mostly farm for, like, my hearts and shards. I'm not really doing too much cooking. I mean, I am cooking, but not that much. Um, but this is a great way. And then cooking, obviously, is going to give you some good income. So, I mean, like, I'm not going to say I don't do any cooking. Because there's definitely meals I make to help me with a little extra on the income slash. Like, I don't have to buy those. So I can make them myself. Ooh, I don't know where the hell that one went. And you just go ahead and place it. You can just pick whichever one you want and press A to place it. It doesn't have to be. You can put, literally place them right next to each other. It doesn't really matter. Um, and again, you'll go until you can't go anymore. Uh, I think it's something like eight crops when you have the uh, when you have like a water irrigation system. Ten if you don't. Something like that. You can get a decent amount with the large, so I would always go with the large. But yeah, that's pretty much farming right there, guys. Uh, you are gonna have to come back and check on your crops, and that's where you kind of. Uh, you know, get your luck on the RNG for hards and sharps. Uh, you only gain hards and sharps while tending to your crops, just so you know that. Uh, when you're actually harvesting, you do not. Um, you can choose two different things for harvesting. You can choose whether to seed the plant, which will allow you to gain seeds, or you can harvest, which will allow you to gain the actual fruits of your labor. Um, seed for a little bit to gain seeds and then you know you can start actually doing farming for like crops and such you can always sell these crops it's good money um if you're not going to cook or you can cook them in i would always before cooking start to kind of like get an eye of what the market's looking like um and then you can go from there all right guys thank you for uh, watching the video and uh hope you guys enjoyed